Hey everyone, Rodev here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a uh, click detector part and uh, just a bit more about the click detector and how it works on Roblox. So, for, uh, for instance, I have a quick little system I made where if you click it, it changes to a random color and it prints your username clicked me. So, as you can see, when I click it, it's going to become a completely random brick color. So, I'm going to hit stop and show you guys exactly how I made this. So first things first, I'm going to delete everything I've done and get started. So for this, what I've done is I've inserted a part. And just to be simple, um, I'm just going to use a basic part. You can obviously use any part in Roblox. Now um, I'm going to change the part size. You don't have to do this exactly, but just for aesthetics, I'm going to be changing the part size. There we go. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is renaming the part. I'm going to call this part uh, My Cool Part. And from there, what we can do is click plus. And I know, you guys, I know you guys don't see it, but you can insert a click detector. And then uh, with this click detector in the properties, which you can find under view right here, you can change the maximum activ activation distance. So basically each of these is one stud. So this is one, two, three, four, etc. And basically 32 studs away is basically the maximum distance the player can activate it from. If they're 33 studs away, they won't be able to see the actual mouse icon. Anyway, now that we have this done, we can go to server script service, click plus, and insert a normal script, not a local script. The difference is the normal script runs for every player. The local script runs separately for every player. So guys, that's basically the very simple difference or basic difference between a server script and a local script. Anyways, inside the script, the first thing we're going to be doing, the first thing we're going to be doing is actually renaming the script. We're going to call this a uh, uh, click detector script. And then from inside the script, we need to create our first variable for the actual part. So I'm going to call it local. Um, well, local you have to type, but I'm going to call it my cool part. Local my cool part equals workspace with a lowercase w. So you don't have to do game dot workspace. You can just type workspace dot my cool part. And then from there, we can do local click detector equals my cool part dot click detector. And then from there, what we can do is click detector dot mouse button or not mouse button, but just mouse click colon connect function. Now I'm going to quickly finish it off by typing all this. So it's going to be function with two brackets and then an end with the uh, closing bracket. So inside here, um, uh, yeah, you guys can't see it, but basically you can uh, figure out who clicked it. So I'm going to type player and this will give us the actual player that clicked it. So uh, players that have lots of properties, if I type player dot, Obviously you guys can't see it, but there's lots of things here like um, the player's name, the player's display name, the player's account age, their team color, um, you know what kind of camera they're using, all of that. All of that is there. So all we need now is the player name. So what we can do is print player dot name dot dot and then clicked me just like this. This basically just uh, joins the two strings together, the first string of the player's name and then the clicked me part uh, with the space there. From there, we can uh, what we can do is change the part's color. So we can do my cool part dot brick color equals brick color dot random with two brackets on the end. So basically, what this does is it'll print in the output and it'll change the brick's color. So let's take a look real quick, and then we'll explore some more uh, methods or functions. And uh, as you can see, it works. And now we're actually gonna uh, go to another one. This one is gonna be dot mouse hover enter. And basically, for this one, uh, the same thing essentially happens, except you don't have to click it. It's just whenever your mouse enters it. And you can see, I'm not clicking, but whenever my mouse goes on it, it changes. And when I click, nothing happens because we don't have a script that is listening for the clicks. Uh, the script is now listening for when the mouse enters. You, you can do the same thing for uh, when the mouse leaves. As you can see, when the mouse enters, nothing happens. When, when it leaves, it changes. So it's essentially the same thing, but a little different. Um, there is also another one for right mouse click. But that's the same thing with your right mouse button. So um, uh, yeah, those are the basics of click detectors in Roblox Studio. And if you guys did enjoy this video and it did help you out in Roblox Studio, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so I know it did help you. And other than that, guys, uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.